Hello there, hello there. Good to see you. I'm sure you're happy to see me. This is Sister Sister on City TV and of course we're live on 97.3 City FM. My name is Jessica. Feels great to be back on your favorite station, of course, to discuss relationships. Sister Sister is about relationships. I get uh, my sisters, as I like to call them, known them for years, um, you know, to come through so we can just discuss some of the issues going on in your life. And so if you're out there, this is the first time you're watching the show and perhaps you're going through something you know rather onward that you'd like us to talk about or perhaps discuss or you need an opinion on this is the right show for you or maybe you're just curious you like to know what other people go through in their lives and their relationships this is also a show for you um, that being said once again my name is Jessica I'll be sharing with you ways to interact with us on the show and we get to meet the ladies right after this Welcome back, Sister Sister, on City TV and 97.3 City FM. Remember, you can download the City Newsroom app and you'll be able to listen to the show from wherever you are in the world, whether you're on iOS or you use an Android phone. So, if you want to interact with us on the show today, if you want to ask us any questions whatsoever which have to do with your relationship, you can send them in two ways. First, via um, WhatsApp to 054-998-6996 or via email to jessica at cityfmonline.com. Now, if you don't mind putting your stuff out there, you can actually also use the hashtag Sister Sister Live on social media. You can also look for Sister Sister Live, a Facebook page. Um, you know, just join us on there and, um, you know, join the interactions and the conversations that go on beyond this program. Let me say hello to my sisters tonight. Of course, joined by the usual suspects. I'll start with Rosie today. Good to see you, Rosie. What's going on? Everything okay? Uh, I'm managing. Good. We're Good. still on vacation. Oh, still on vacation. <laughs> Dante giving you hell. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I can't wait for him to go back. Yeah. Schools don't have to vacate. Charlie. Aww. It's all good. How will you know that he's in the house? Tell if he doesn't give you hell. <laughs> and when he's not around, I'm sure you miss him. I know. Mm. I know. That's the irony of it. But hey, we're good. We're good. good. We're good. 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 Yeah. Maybe next week I should bring him on set. Eh? Yeah, hey. one of these days, eh? Yeah. It's, it's just that he'll kind of carry this and yeah. be running all around. <laughs> it's all part of the whole <laughs> <laughs> Sister baby. Maybe yeah. that's what we'll call the episode. Good to see you. Olivia, what's Hi. going on? I'm good. It's just a season of, um, I don't know, forgiveness and love. Yeah. You know, Easter. Yeah. Let's just forget. Let bygones be bygones. And it's actually much more powerful to forgive people because then you don't carry that weight. Mm. So just love and continue life. Yeah. yeah. Bring me some Easter to eggs. Orphans. Give to the orphans. Yeah. I want Easter eggs. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tina. <sighs> I believe. No, not really, actually. Ah, okay. It's just the way I'm, you I'm sigh. Okay. okay. We yeah. can't see your shoe today, so... No. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm just ready to... Um, have Delve into the issues. Yeah. Let's the do it, then. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay, so I'll start from here. And this one is from someone called Rue. Okay. It says, I'm married with three kids. Now, each time I have an issue with my husband, he becomes extremely angry and can abuse me physically verbally but through insults and threats even when the issue is not a serious one i've realized that my child about four years old has started saying i will tell my daddy to insult and beat you and you will cry anytime i try to correct her sisters i need help oh hmm. yeah who wants to start first I usually don't like that. <laughs> but anyway, so generally, I, I will speak on general terms. Um, we, we take for granted what we do um, as parents and even as adults, um, not minding our environments, knowing that little children are looking up to us and emulating us and in their conversations, in their play with other kids they they speak the things that they hear from home 
and it's not healthy for you to be um, assaulting, insulting, and, and causing pain um, between the two of you or as parents. I think if you have anything um, or any exchange of words or any exchange of blues, whatever it is, you should do it in the private of your room if you have to do that. Like if by all means, it, it doesn't have to be in front of children. Then you should also think that um, if your husband, you see, when you're married, the dynamics are different. Mm -hmm. You can't just up and leave because he has insulted you or he has done this or he has done that. There are too many things to consider. So I would say that um, find a way to talk to somebody he respects, okay, other than you and just him because I'm sure maybe you've brought his mind to it several times and he hasn't listened. So find someone he respects and he can sit down and listen to the person and tell the person or, or, or maybe his family or whoever that, listen, I really, maybe I can contain it, but it's not healthy for our child. Maybe I can't also contain it. Tell them exactly how you feel and how you think going forward things should be handled because it's not really cool to be in an abusive relationship. As mm -hmm. for that one, whether emotionally, verbally, um, physically, uh, however <laughs> it is, an abusive relationship is not to be condoned. And so find somebody, speak to the person, and by all means, you know. Probably the first step. Yeah. yeah. For me, the fact that your partner will hit you, whether closed doors, whether in front of the kids, there's nothing, there's, there's absolutely everything wrong with that. You shouldn't condone it. You shouldn't tolerate it. It's not right. You can't sugarcoat it whatsoever. Your husband shouldn't be hitting you. Your wife shouldn't be hitting you. It's not normal. It's not acceptable. And now it's gotten to the extent whereby your son or your daughter is seeing you do that constantly and now they think it's normal. He actually thinks that when you, as the mother of the house, wants to, um, wants to discipline him, he actually knows that it's cool for his dad to hit you in return. Because he's so small and he can't defend himself, he's thinking, oh yeah, you see, I'm going to get to you, I'm going to get daddy to actually teach you a lesson. Hmm. And for him, he's going to grow up thinking that it's normal for dad to hit mom, and it's normal for mom not to discipline me. Therefore, one, he's completely disrespected his mom, he's not afraid of his mom, he knows from day one that his mom has no authority whatsoever over his life or over his destiny and if you take that power away from a mother you've taken away everything if you ask me because really children babies learn a lot from their mothers even while in conception mm -hmm. even in the womb because mommy is reading to the child or they can hear daddy's voice every so often but from the belly women educate their children and children babies look up i mean they come out they are smelling mommy mommy is like a b c like so once you you take that away from the child and the child completely disconnects and the child doesn't value you as a human being then really what where are you at and right now daddy is being so abusive my dear it's not right. This is how it starts. By the time you realize you've raised an abusive son who has no respect whatsoever for women and he thinks it's normal and you never know along the line, this man might completely beat you to death. And what kind of society do we end up having? It's got to stop. This man whatsoever, this man that you're in a relationship with needs help. You need to either find um, someone who you know, who he will listen to and by all means talk about it. You should not be beaten. You should not be respected. It's, there's nothing disrespected. right, disrespected. Mm. There's nothing right about it. Find help if he needs to be. I mean, at some point in time, something has got to give. The fact that you're quiet about it and you're not talking about it, he's thinking that it's okay. I'm sure that after slapping you, he comes back and says, I'm sorry, and then you guys continue. But no, it cannot continue. Find somebody he would listen to, talk to that person. If that doesn't work, 
I don't know, like report him to the police, report him to somebody. He needs to be straightened up. This is how come people end up dead in lagoons and things and we mm. can't trace them for no reason. But it's not right. Don't, don't, don't sit down idle. I mm. beg you. Rosie. <laughs> I've just been listening. I don't want to comment because Olivia has said basically everything. But what I'll add is that you see children in the way you see them like that, especially at that age, they pick up so much. Because mm. I remember when Dante started doing his things at home, we would say, Shay, 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 Shay. At that time, he wasn't even talking. Mm. He was schooling, he wasn't even talking. Then we go and pick him up from school. Then the teacher tells us, who has been telling Dante, shame, 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 shame. <laughs> it means that he wasn't saying it at home, but he goes to repeat exactly wow. what we were saying in school. Mm. So the teacher said, we shouldn't say shame because it's not a good word to use for a child. Mm. So when he's doing something, we should rather say bad manners instead of saying shame. Mm -hmm. But the whole thing is that, look, we were at home, we were talking. He wasn't saying it back to us or he wasn't repeating it to our right. hearing. But he said uh, when he went to school, he went and said it in school. Mm. And that's the danger. The thing is, sometimes you feel like the children are too small. They are not to listening. Yeah. Or they, 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 they can't understand what's going on. They are not hearing. Children can pick up seven languages at once. Mm -hmm. Sure. Dante uh, gets instructions when you say it in Ga, when you speak Ewe, when you speak English. Mm. You understand? And he's only a child. He's not proficient in all three, but he gets it in all three. Mm -hmm. So the thing is that you think they are babies or you think they are children, but they are picking up all these things. And it's very sad. At four, if he can open his mouth and say that, oh, when, when daddy, daddy comes, I'll tell daddy mm -hmm. for daddy to this. It's, it's sad. For me, I mean, they've said it all. Oh, I'm saying that it's, it's, a, it's a very sad state to be in. But I would say that, look, in the beginning, yeah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, move on. You should gradually, you should start talking to people he respects, like you said. Then if that doesn't work out, start involving the legal authorities. And then at some point, you need to start planning your exit. Mm -hmm. it, should be very, it should be gradual, but make sure that every time it happens, you go a step higher till you are free of this. Because, you see, in future, if you don't get out now and you allow... This, the, the status quo to exist in perpetuity. What's going to happen is that one day your children are going to hate you mm -hmm. because you didn't get out when you were supposed mm -hmm. to get out. Because you have situations where um, children become so violent because of what they've learned. And then when they finally wake up and realize what a mess they've made of their lives, they will now blame you for not standing up for them and teaching them the right thing. So the very children you're trying to protect may end up hating you in the end. So all I'm saying is that, look, yes, you love him. Yes, you don't want to break the marriage. Yes, it's a fantastic place you want to be. You've forgiven him first time, second time, third time. It's not working. Involve um, uncles, aunties. If you were counseled, involve your counselor. Then beyond that, if the, especially with the hitting, the physical mm -hmm. abuse, once it starts happening, Charlie, you have enough, enough base to go to the police station or go somewhere, you know, something, do something. Mm -hmm. Then as time goes, when if it becomes too much that you can't handle it, you just plan your exit, so then you, 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 you step up for the sake mm -hmm. of your kids. Yeah. I mean, your kids should not grow thinking it's right. And they shouldn't grow thinking that you condoned it. Otherwise, in future, they'll have a wife. And when the wife is gone, they'll say, ah, but you do what my mother went to. Mm -hmm. No, nah, we don't want that. Yeah. I, I, I wanted to ask a question. Does a man beater ever, a woman beater ever stop? Not unless they really want to, I think. You know? I think that Every behavior can end, though. There's nothing that you can't say, this is you for life. Mm -hmm. But you see, nobody can change you. Yeah. It has to be their decision. They have to, to realize that, to say that I will never do enough. this again. And they should convince themselves and tell themselves that this is never going to be part of me again. And then they can change. Yeah. But it's not something that someone can make them change. True. They have to change on it their has own. To be a person. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see those movies that we watch when <clears throat> the man is very abusive and all of a sudden the woman takes something and whacks the man and the man just looks at the woman so surprised. <laughs> like they don't know how it actually feels to act, be on the receiving end yeah. of, mm -hmm. the, of the mm -hmm. beating. Yeah. 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 The thing about abuse is, um, in, well, from what I've read and heard, it only escalates. Yeah. You know? Usually it will it'll start very small, small, quote unquote, with see. little things, you know, and there are different forms of abuse, financial, <laughs> economic, you Anything. name it, several forms of abuse. And um, it only gets worse with time. It doesn't get mm. better. So like, you know, the, the question you asked, if unless the man you're with 
or the women you're with, because they're men who yeah. are being beaten as well, yeah. you know, uh, take, make a conscious effort to say, listen, this will never be a part of me. I've changed. I'm a better person. That kind of thing. It's going to continue. So me, I would say to the woman, definitely put, start putting an exit strategy in place because your life is at danger. So is your sanity. Your child has started threatening you with mm. their mm. father. Mm. That is... That's mm. the lowest of lows, if you mm. ask me, mm. you know, and you do not want your child to be brought up in such an environment. It's teaching him a very wrong lesson to start with, that it's okay to beat mommy. Mm -hmm. It's okay to beat, um, you know, or throw your hands at he'll another human being. He'll probably grow up and beat mommy himself. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yes, he'll mm -hmm. probably grow up and, and, mm -hmm. and one day he'll just slap yeah. you because he thinks his father does it. Why can't he? Yeah. You know, and he doesn't know any better. Kids are very, very impressionable. Mm -hmm. So... Once your kids start to get affected, maybe you, yeah, you can handle it for a while. Mm -hmm. But once your kids start to, you start to see the impact on your children, it it's time to you. move. Yeah. It is time to move. It is time to move. So, um, Rue, we wish you the best of luck. And thanks for sharing your story with us here on the show. We'll move on. One here says, I have dated my boyfriend. Uh, we've been in a relationship for about two years and we've never been intimate before. Now, however, he's giving me pressure to have sex with him. I refused and he's not paying attention to me. What should I do now? Because we have plans to get married. Oh. <laughs> ah. You know what? They've been dating for two years. <laughs> two years. Mm. So for two years you have held on. Yeah. You now have plans to get married. Mm -hmm. That means soon the thing is going to be legally yours. You can have it 24 7. And he's angry that you're not giving it to him mm -hmm. now. Then is he making plans because he wants to eat the thing? Ah. Mm. Oh, maybe. Mm. But me, I, I would, I would ask on what basis um, the decision was made not to have sex. Is it moral, or is it medical, or is it why did you decide? So from there the, we but can. But should there be a reason? Um, yeah, there's no. a reason. Oh, maybe some people say that oh because of where I go to church or whatever, or because my of beliefs. me being my beliefs. So what? What, I don't what, want if, what to if it's because I just don't want to indulge? Yeah, I don't have any yeah, reason. so that's a reason. You just don't want to. Yeah, because so I don't think your should terms be a reason. of actually getting to that point matter. Hmm. So if if it's nothing that um, would hurt you, and you you want to do it fine but in this case you say you don't want to do it i don't think you should give in absolutely not exactly i mean once you have said that you don't want to indulge massa if he's not minding you ah, and especially me, you see the thing so is that you see they are going to get married so my thing is rush? that it's not like you, you you met and then one month two months you're putting pressure no the, the guy was able to abstain for two years mm. and you are planning to get married if you are planning to get married the way she's saying it when people are planning to get married it, it, it doesn't happen in six months or sometimes it takes a year or two no i understand but once it's in the pipeline mm. it means that eventually you're going it's to gonna end happen. up being with the person mm. so it means that you have long-term plans with the person if the person says that i want to preserve myself i don't want to have sex now i want to preserve myself i don't want to get intimate if that is the basis on which you ignore her then it means that when she actually does something bad what are you going to do so, it means so that the question the guy, is that the guy is in you is is probably making fake plans with you, and trust me, a guy introducing you to the parents is not really doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean, mean anything. Masa, masa. With their family, Even their parents, they have <laughs> done whatever. And you know, it sometimes I'd be surprised that the, the mother of the boy crab will call like four or five girls. Oh, our wife, our wife, our mm -hmm. wife. Mm -hmm. So that one is is not, it's not a, so. Mm -hmm. you, you can't be too sure. Me, I'm just thinking that maybe the man is doing all this plans, quote unquote. To make you comfortable enough for you to drop your knickers. Mm. That's all I'm thinking. Mm. So my thing is that look, stick to your guns. If you feel like because you see, I don't want I don't like it when women say he took my virginity away from me and he slept with me and he used me. You were a partaker of the whole act. Mm. You need to own it. So for us, you can't own it and be comfortable and say, Okay, I wanted to do it yeah. and I did it. Forget it, don't do it. Let nobody push you to do that which you don't want to do. Especially something of that nature that no, 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 no. Another possibility and too is that when he's hanging out with his friends, his friends are like Charlie. So you eat the thing. You say no, I no do. Tell you be John. Ah, Charlie. I say we taste and turn on what he wrote because a lot of things happen. Try the shoes you see, before you buy. Some, but that one he can guys, he can put pressure, but not to the extent of ignoring ah, him. It, they can see some guys. Eh, they 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 are able to take a decision when they are alone, whatever. But once they get 
to the company of their friends and stuff like that. They are not able to then withstand he, then pressure. Then he's not ready for marriage. Like mm. he's exactly not, what he's I'm not. saying. So I'm, I'm just saying that this should teach you a lesson. And a lot of things actually come to light when you are coming to get married. When you actually say that, okay, we are going to seal the deal, there are a lot of things that happen that open yes. your eyes and you'll be like, hey, should I go? I, sh sh I shouldn't go. So, the skeletons that come yeah. out small, small. so these are some of, there are blessings in disguise. I think you should just, you know, just retreat small and, and do what you need to do. You don't have to fret at all. As for marriage, it will come. And it when is it yours, comes, it's yours. Nice. Thank you. Don't do it. Mm -hmm. what, what's actually pissing me off about this guy is that what well, now don't, he's, don't get he's pissed, no, I'm, <laughs> I'm cool so what now he's using sex to blackmail him mm. like if you don't have no sex, sex no marriage mm. take your marriage sweetheart mm. take yourself mm. your virginity your dignity mm. and your swag and le leave him like mm. left him already mm. like left him because really <laughs> you 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 he wants to sleep with you and then after he sleeps with you and then what at the end, like Rosie said, you're going to be with him 24-7. Mm. You have the whole house. You can do it morning, afternoon, noon, and night. You can do it 24 yeah, 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 yeah. after I work, <laughs> can't you go out quickly, Charlie? I'm going lunch. for lunch and come back and come and Please, do don't it. Let, you can't don't, do don't, it. Don't, don't let my employers accuse me for going for such lunch. <laughs> Even if I'm nice you're entitled to lunch. You're entitled mm. to lunch. So you can do <laughs> lunch and do lunch if you see what I mean. As long as it's married, any day, any time. Obey and say, I no. So what is his rush? He's been able to wait for two years. What's the big deal? Mm. Yeah. Really, listen, I think I sat here on the same platform and I spoke about this. There was a young girl who, you know, she kept herself, da, 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 da. she was social. Families met, engagements, everything. You know, engagement things were bought, cut a long story short. She was like, ah, this guy, Krabi, a cockle lie. Ah, and they in the sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They didn't get married. He was gone. He was gone. Do you see what mm. I mean? And if you are going to do it, and you think that you want to keep it till you're married, you don't lose anything. Keep mm. it till you're married mm. and enjoy it. You can open it 360. You can do whatever. Don't take a decision and regret for life. Mm -hmm. Don't give it to some Sanquas guy. Be a chess, you know, he's using my... No. Me say, opewa, obet now on chain. He will know that there's no... There's no... Obi and Kobe. His really is not going anywhere. He's really going to let's shrink. Let, let's all say it together. Opewa, But for now, myself. Pick your bag, <laughs> Jan, Jan. Listen, you have to know, as a woman, you know, you need to know your worth. You need to know, I don't need anybody to tell me I'm fine. You need to know I'm fine. <laughs> I'm intelligent. <laughs> I am sexy. <laughs> this is all me and Thank it's all the package. It's a woman pack. Jacko. So, you know, you know, I'm smiling just listening to you guys chat because um, I've actually had a boyfriend leave me before because I wouldn't sleep with him. This Don't was this was I, I was done with oh, girls' oh. day. I was done <laughs> with senior high school. Oh, you know. oh that um, early. No, no, no. Actually, it was junior high school. He was an oh. SS two. Chale some guy. Oh, hey, well, like the boy rough. <laughs> fine boy, fine <laughs> boy, fine boy. What's that? This guy said. So when I said oh, when we get married, and that was it. Like his attitude changed. He said, ah, and then it's over. <laughs> I Ooh. said, really? Okay. Oh, but Go. Too and it hurt me. Oh. Yeah. I, I was really into him. Oh. Guess what? One week later, he came back begging. I said, you could break up with me because I won't sleep with you. Masa, keep walking. It's not that's that so. deep. And also, that's what too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, and even that time, I didn't, I wasn't, it's not like I was even some. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Not many even be a sir. You understand? But I just knew what I wanted exactly. and what I didn't yeah. want. Mm -hmm. You know, and. If you break over, up with me over sex, then just go, Charlie. It's yeah. not even worth it. Can I? Can I? Can it I it just, just says more about you than exactly. about me. So exactly. that's exactly. very true. Yeah. Can I ask a question, please? Out of this, sure thing. So let's say <laughs> you decide to have sex with you and your partner before marriage, mm. and but you have said, but your partner keeps on saying that it's not enough. <laughs> and so no. And so no. Okay. So by you two, you are saying, say, ah, you two, we haven't gotten my <laughs> Like, do, do, um, the frequency of the sex, no. Who determines it? Do you do you treat it as though like you're married, 
Okay. No. So, wait, hang on, ladies. <laughs> we'll go for commercial break. When we return, we shall address this question. We'll be right back. <laughs> Keep watching Breakfast Daily on City TV. You're tuned into Breakfast Daily on City TV. You're watching Breakfast Daily on City TV. We spice up your mornings with culturally enriched conversations, social interviews, and policy-oriented discussions that will keep you updated on the progress of the nation. Let your voice be heard with the hashtag Breakfast Daily. Nigerians are putting their film on Netflix now. There's DSTV, there's mobile phones, there's all sorts of um, apps that you can actually put your phone. So distribution is not just um, going to the cinemas to, to, to preview or to premiere the movie. We wear all our gowns and all that and then that's all. There are lots of channels that we don't know mm -hmm. and we've limited ourselves to just Ghana. Join us for breakfast daily, only on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. <laughs> Witness the twisted and tangled story of betrayal, greed, vengeance, and love in the award-winning Brazil Avenue. Carminia, a woman led by greed, gets rid of her husband who is Rita's father and sends Rita away to a filthy landfill. Rita finds love in Batata, but they are soon separated by adoption into different families far away from each other. Many years later, all paths cross again as Rita, now a renowned chef, seeks to pay back her stepmother for taking away her happiness as a child. It's a story of twists, turns, suspense, and thrilling action in Brazil Avenue. Brazil Avenue airs Wednesdays to Fridays from 10 to 11 p.m. only on City TV. <laughs> Welcome back to Sister Sister on City TV and 97.3 City FM. Your comments are welcome on 054-998-6996 or via the hashtag Sister Sister Live on social media. Now, you can find actually the Sister Sister Facebook page. Join the conversations that happen, uh, happen you know, on there and beyond this, this show as well. Just look for Sister Sister Live. That's at Sister Sister Live on Facebook and let's get active all right so um during the commercial break we actually had our own conversation about it so we finished we are done we yeah are done. let's move on so we can oh, move on eh? yeah we can move on right yes oh. mm. <laughs> okay so i've been given permission to move on so we shall move on <laughs> uh, a message here says um it's from isinam says my husband never wants me to go out or even to go out for work he always wants me to depend on him for everything. I really hate it, but whenever I talk about finding a job, he gets upset. I want to know if this is jealousy or love. I actually know someone like that. Really? Mm -hmm. They don't want you to work. Yes. They don't Why? want you to interact with They don't want you Why? to Are work. You, they don't want, you see, sometimes, eh, you see, <laughs> hmm. wow. Challenge. Yeah, People are, that's why I keep saying that I don't know now that we don't do arranged marriages anymore i don't see i don't know what people do during the courtship or the dating stage some of these things they need to be ironed out they need to be spoken about before you even get married or before you even start getting intimate or start getting close or start getting serious because me like this i don't know who will tell me that mm -hmm. rosie don't work mm -hmm. come and sit at home it's not even up for discussion really it's not 
you understand? Because I, 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 I think that I know people like that because there are people who are brought up differently. Some men were brought up thinking that they are solely responsible for the upkeep of their house. So they are brought up to feel like they have to work and fend for the house. And they feel that the women are natural nurturers and their duty is to nurture the children bring up the children they don't want to hear about nannies and house helps and things like that they think that the woman should just be at home your duty is to be at home cook clean take care of the children there are people who actually think like that mm. so when they marry you their whole life they're spending working so hard and you'll be, you'll be surprised some of them actually spend a lot of money on their wives it's not like they deprive them of anything no anything the woman wants she will get they will finance everything. They just don't want to hear or imagine that their woman is working and having to fend for themselves. It breaks them. There are men like that. But the thing is that there are also women who also like men like that. Mm -hmm. Who would want to sit at home each other. and mm -hmm. then they have their account being credited by the R, uh, by Maybe their husbands. Mm -hmm. And then they'll go to the salon, chat, chat, buy the best of clothes, hang mm -hmm. out, take the kids, so take the kids to all the events in school and everything. And then that's their job, and they're happy with that. So it may not be, an, it may not necessarily be a bad thing. But I'm saying, when you're courting, when you're dating somebody to get married, some of these things eh, they should be talked about. Mm, okay. The so, jobs you do, hmm. where you're going to live, how many children you should have, and um, financial um, planning, who does what, who doesn't do what, all these things. They are soft areas. It's not like you should sit down and go, okay, we are come to discuss our future. But no, in the process, yeah, all these sure things find out. should be dropping one by one, one by one. Because I'm sure before you got married, you were saying that when we get married, I wouldn't want you to work. And you were joking about it, thinking that, oh, he was just saying it for saying, saying sake. But really, really, he doesn't really want you to work. So, so hmm. I was going to come to that um, and say that sometimes we partners would drop the hints that they are not comfortable with one thing or the other but they're, they're, they're receiving and it's like oh he's just joking oh he's saying it in person oh this so we shouldn't take for granted the conversation loose talk whatever comments yeah. that come out of our, our each other's mouth we shouldn't take it for granted especially when um a man doesn't tell you that he likes kinky sex or anything, but he tells you that, I'll tie you one day. Let it register <laughs> at the back of your mind because that, it, 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 it's a hint. Let a man out of anger one day tells you that, let it register because these are little things. They said it out of reflex. They said it out of impulse. They didn't actually think about it. And that is the true nature of the person. So if they tell you that, me dear, my wife doesn't work or my wife won't work. My sole purpose in life is to please my wife. You are laughing. You, you are laughing or you are sitting down saying, oh, oh my God, he oh, said his yeah. sole purpose. So <laughs> <I'm saying. laughs> you are thinking that it's something that he is saying out of the blue. But like Rosina said, there are men who, besides being brought up that way, are naturally jealous. Mm. They've worked their way into good positions and they think that they can take care of their wives. And the wife that I'm getting, Nehonfe, body a body, kasa kasa, you know. So I don't want her to interact with somebody quite confused because he's already insecure in himself. Maybe he doesn't have too much um, finesse, he's finesse not nice. or something. Yeah, so his, 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 only, um, <laughs> his only power is the money that he brings mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. And he wants to make sure that at all times he knows that this is where you are. So he doesn't want you to go anywhere. And he has dropped the hints in conversations. And when hmm. he was dating you probably or getting married to you, you it. didn't have a job. Mm -hmm. So it was an ideal situation for him and he entered like that. Now you want to change the whole the balance patient. of the thing. He too, he doesn't like that. Mm -hmm. So you need to actually find a way. And there's actually a way that you can also engage yourself without actually going, going to out to, to like being a corporate woman. 
What so you can't. Mm -hmm. Yes, but then it, it should have been clear from the beginning. You okay, see, so what if it's not clear from the beginning? Why? No, why can't people change their minds? I know that dynamics that's can change. The, 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 so the, the, I'm just the only saying constant that in life is change, really. Change. Yeah. So that is why I'm trying to say that you need to break it in softly because. Will he have broken mm -hmm. it in softly? Well, if the, the, thing if the rules is, were the thing reversed. Is, that's why I'm saying if, that. Charlie, <laughs> when you start the conversation and you don't take it seriously and you miss some of the very essential things, when you are trying to correct it and the change has come, you need to break it in softly. So for me, I wouldn't think, I wouldn't say that she should stand up to her husband, like by all means, and say that, hey, me too, I'm going to work. If you like, take it. If you like, don't take it. I think there are ways that she can engage herself. One, she can do things that because she's bringing in the money. So okay. Fine, I want to start a business of my own. I want to do this. I want to partner with a friend and do this. You know, I, I, will, I will work, say, five hours instead of eight hours. I will work three hours instead of this. At home? No. Maybe you can go to the office and come back. You understand? It, it, it could be, let start from somewhere. Don't just start eight hours defying your husband. Because we can say anything, but then you are the one staying there. You are the one in the relationship. You are the one who, who like, maybe that's the only problem you have. Everything else is okay. Why do you want to spoil everything because of this one problem? You see, this <laughs> one is not I know, I want, to, I want um, Olivia to finish everything. Mm. She's gonna, this one is not just one problem. You see, anything that takes away from your sanity is a big problem. And you see, for you, it might be okay because you think that everything else, all I's are dotted, all T's are crossed. So everything is okay. It's just that he doesn't want you to go out and go and work. For somebody to wear, your whole life, he felt that your parents took you to school, took you to one of the most expensive schools, mm -hmm. paid big money for you, encouraged you, kept talking to you about the fact that, you know, you're a woman, but it doesn't mean that you are any less of a human being than other men out there. Go out, work, and do da 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 give me all the pep talks. You are gingered and fired up to work. They said you shouldn't work. Come and sit at home and be a housewife. Listen. That's a yeah. sit, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm no, hold on. I understand. I'm it to this. I understand. I understand. Yes, you've, you've, ex you've said everything. Okay. I agree, but I'm saying that. The way you were like, oh, everything is okay, except for this one. That except for this one no, might be the might big deal be for another. Might be the big deal for me. Because, you see, we are very different. Like you said, maybe she didn't have a job yet. She was searching, but she didn't find one yet. But that's her whole life. That's what she's been wanting to do. That's what keeps her sane. If that is no, what, if that is the, what case, keeps... the guy would have noticed. No. And he would have agreed. No. It's because... not everything. Tina, listen. No, you don't the things listen, that Tina. You desire. Tina, listen. The things that you desire, oh, your Tina, partner listen. will see right Tina, from the can, beginning. Actually, can, can no. The no. Will the owner of attention. KFC. Can Hold on. The owner of KFC. At what age did he decide to even start KFC? It was in his 80s. Where was his passion when he was 20, 30, 40, when he was getting married? Okay. All I'm trying to say is that sometimes passion, you, can, you see, you can't know somebody 100%. You can't even know yourself 100% from day one. So the thing is that there are certain things that excite you that maybe you didn't even know would even make you so happy, but now makes you happy. And you have a right as a human being to explore those things. So for us, it's not hurting you or it's not a, a, an illegality or anything. You have a right. That's what I'm saying that, look, if it's something that sits on your sanity, there's no, you can't say that because you didn't say it before. Yeah, it means that you can never now. express it again. Saying, don't say it. Yeah, no, we, we, get we, we, we get you. We get you. But, but you are also having to get us. It's okay. We get you. Let's, let's talk to Olivia. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Listen, as women, no matter what situation you are in, right, you're married. This is the 21st century. I lived in a home whereby my mom completely decided she was going to put, stop working so that she'll be able to take care of us. Along the line, she ended up finding out that we had Asian brothers, sisters, what, what, what. So she decided to put all of us together in one home. And she, she decided, okay, let me be the mom and take care of all of us. She was not working, fully dependent on my dad. Yes, my dad was working, money was coming. But at a certain point in time, things were not good. Things were just not good. We had a big house, so we had to. She started had she had to start improvising. We had a big house. We had to start hosting these international students who were coming in. We, you know, because things were just not okay. There is something about being a woman and being control 
being in full control of your life, whereby you're not fully dependent on a man. Man, once the, that man takes away that liberty, that 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 strength from you, what do you do? You've got kids. Women are very. We are strong and we are, we, we, we are very responsible. When it comes to our children, when it comes to our home, we think in a different pattern. A man can decide, I don't care where my kids live. I'm having a fantastic time with my girlfriend. And who, he's, he doesn't care what his kids are going to eat. Sure. A woman needs to work. She needs to be able to say, I have this money. I'm doing this. I can take care of my, ch of my home, of my children, should something happen. This man is taking away that liberty from you. And for me, it's not, a, it's, 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 it's not acceptable. Sure. Hmm. Here's the thing. It's not. Here's the thing. Sure. You know, I think that it's very myopic, one. And selfish for any man mm -hmm. yeah. to tell his partner that I don't want you to work, especially if the person is willing. Yeah, it's, you, you can't do that. Do you? Are you going to live forever? Really? What if you die tomorrow? What exactly. happens to your children? Who's going exactly. to take care of them? Exactly. exactly. When you've pumped it, it's different. If exactly. she wants that kind of lifestyle and you can provide it, that's different. That's, that's okay. But if she wants to, you but if she, she wants to you shouldn't work, stop it. And, and what was this about? You don't want huh? her to go out. Is she a caged bird or an I, animal? I mean. Come on, let's let's get real here. What's that? It's, it, it, okay. I don't understand. Is, the second question is is that is is, is something that else that matter? Like his. Potency, what are you doing out there his, that you don't want me to go and see? Ah, I should just stay home two four seven. Is he lacking in other happen. areas? Okay, as in, so is the house the in this case, everything. what are you telling the woman to do? Ah, what do you mean? What are we telling her to do? Ah, can she ah, she can decipher no. from the conversation? Well, we all know that it's wrong. Okay, so how does she go about it? She start working to decide. If she gets what she should work. If the man wants to leave her because of it, let him go. So be it. Sit him down. So you you ah, squash your dream. The thing that, that you Charlie, see, this is killing me. It's hey, a, you're you know something? Well, I, I think I, that when I, it comes to relationships, it is give and take. You see, yeah. relationships, and like you see, you said here, service and sacrifice. Sometimes you need to sacrifice your personal wants for the happiness of the other person. Do you understand? Your personal wants for the happiness. Of you you want a wife who stays at home, but you see, her working puts a smile on her face mm -hmm. and puts her in a happier place. That also benefits me indirectly. Mm -hmm. Because if your wife is happy, automatically you're also happy. Yeah. So if you can't sacrifice that, you can't see that. The thing is that it's only a matter of time. You see, controlling men, men who want to be controlling, eh, mm -hmm. it's just a matter of time. Today they'll say give up A, eh, you give it up. Okay, mm -hmm. they seem to be happy. Tomorrow they'll say give up B also. The next minute, give up C, give up D. So you keep giving up parts, so finally you give up your soul. And the most annoying part, after you give up your soul, no, and you go and find somebody else. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that, look, if, for instance, working for you is a deal breaker, working for you brings about your sanity, all I'm saying is that, yes, like you said, don't define, say, but That's all I've been saying. But at the end of it, work. That's all I've been Discuss saying. Discuss it with a few people. No, listen. methodology in place. No, but the methodology is not somewhere. the starting from it's somewhere. Not. Because it's listen, somewhere. There are women who cannot be entrepreneurial. There are women who al always want to be corporate. If I, I, yeah. if I get a job, yeah. if I get a job, no, no you know why I we're going here. It's because of the, you, 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 the way you put it yes. made it seem yes. like, oh, yes. if I really want to work in a job, I should just start with a corner store. You no. Drink, no, that's how it came no, across. Okay, okay, so, so can I correct myself? No, 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 it's fine. fine. It's fine. fine. It's fine. fine. It's fine. Uh, All I'm saying is that yeah. if you want a corporate work, that is 10 hours a day. And that is your passion. That's what you want to do. Yeah. Go out and go get it. Because you see, as a woman, you need to be able to live for yourself and yeah. for your children. Hmm. Yeah. Very important. Very, very, very important. And man, huh. my mom always used to say, Ben mm -hmm. Menye mm now do Tia Trino. Mm -hmm. Right, and it goes both ways. Not just even just for men, human for women, beings. Yes, yeah, human yeah, beings. Do you understand? So you can't rely on someone one hundred percent. Tomorrow, if they die, what are you gonna do? Sure. What that are you going to do? Plan a surprise birthday hey. for the person. Cry. Like you yes, have to discuss it. Go for because the money. You don't have money. Because you don't or have you'll money. be saving small money. He'll be giving yeah. you all the time. No, no man. it's it's not yeah. right. I think that it, unless, of it's course, it's right. your decision not to work. If it's your decision not to work, and the man is okay with it, or vice versa, that's fine. But if you really want to work, nothing should stop you. If he wants to leave, let him leave. Trust me. Right. I was <laughs> going to go into another message, but I think we will we'll need a commercial break yes. now to, to calm <laughs> thing, things yeah. down a little bit. So, yeah, but your comments are welcome. And uh, uh, so are your questions. 54 998 We'll be right back. This is Sister, Sister. <laughs> regular news.
news checks as they unfold. 2020 News, all day, all the time. Politics, sports, entertainment, business and more. 2020 News, we bring you the world in 20 minutes. news, analysis, projections and policies that affect your business curated and delivered in a simple and timely format watch Business Dashboard your most comprehensive source of business news every weekday at 7pm only on City TV. Business Dashboard on City TV is sponsored by ADB Bank truly a Greek and more Sister, sister on City TV and 97.3 City FM. Heated, heated, heated. Okay. So um, your comments are welcome. 54 What do you think about any of the stuff that you've heard on the show today? And if you do send us some questions, um, certainly we'll get to them. Even if we don't address them on this show, just make sure you don't miss out on any episode because your question will definitely be addressed. You can also send an email to jessica at cityfmonline.com or better yet, um, we're, we've, we've started a Facebook page for Sister Sister. Just search for Sister Sister Live. You'll see our logo, this one right here. Um, you know, on Facebook, you can join that page and, uh, you know, continue with the interactions. We have uh, some really cool stuff in store for you in the near future. Right, so let's go into this message here from Mary um, in Bulga. She says, I'm 24 years old, dating a 34-year-old man. One day I was having this conversation with him about the eight, like our age differences when it comes to marriage. And I don't know what I said wrong. This guy started insulting me, saying all manner of unprintable things. Since then, I've lost all feelings for him, even though he's apologized. Sisters, do you think I should stay or leave? Help. Mary from Bulga. Go with your gut feeling. You know, you have a feeling that there's something wrong, there's something off. Like, go with it. If you feel that it's not your cup of tea, don't be in that relationship. Because he's apologized, ideally you should be able to take it in and go like, okay, it's a mistake, it's happened. But you're having double thoughts, you feel like there's something more to it. If it's just an argument over age, if the, the, the subject was regarding age, and he took it out of context and he was insulting you disrespecting you just because it had to do with age in the near future what's going to happen if it had to do with school fees or if it had to do with something major what's he gonna do i think you should go with your gut feeling i think you really know what to do because right now clearly you don't you're even disconnected from him emotionally so really if if you don't think he's that person for you and you feel like after what he's done, you can't love him as much as you used to love him. It's taking away from, he's taking something away from you. You can't bring it back. Go with it and say bye. Hmm. It's not easy, but say bye. Because really, I mean, you see, in the beginning, it's fun, it's lovey-dovey. And that's when the, you grow together. Over a long period of time, a lot of things happen. And it sort of slows like the, you know, it peaks and then it goes like this. If you're not lucky, it goes there. So it's what you do between the time it's peaking so that it doesn't decline. That matters. So if right now you're peaking and all of a sudden you're going straight to decline, think about it. Mm. Okay. Rosie? <laughs> um... Verbal abuse is usually an indication of other forms of abuses, you understand? And if you care about somebody, there are certain words, because she says unprintable words. Yeah. So when you care about somebody deeply, no matter how angered you are, it's like, maybe you can say things like, maybe I don't want to see you, or you really surprised me, you hurt me so much, or how could you even think about something like this? Maybe show your anger, but there are certain words that should never come out if somebody truly 
you truly care about somebody, you shouldn't come out. Because you see, when in the, at that stage, if he's able to insult you so badly and he shocks you so deeply, the likelihood that after you get married, mm. when you do something silly, he's going to lift his hand and hit you is very high. Mm. The likelihood is very high. I'm not saying that it's a definite thing he's going to do, but the likelihood is very high because once he can insult you, and not because you are so huge that he'll be afraid of hitting you, but <laughs> other than that, if he can insult you like that for such a reason, mm. you are discussing and you are talking about marriage and you are talking about your age, age difference, difference yeah. 10 years, I mean, it's time for him to reassure you that, oh, it doesn't matter, I'm just going to be the bigger brother in this relationship, I'm going to do da-da-da-da-da. That's, that's, that's good grounds to have a good conversation about your future but if it ends in insults then really like olivia said your gut feelings mm. Go with it. It, it tells us a lot but sometimes we ignore it because of we want to be in a relationship we want to be married or we want to have this person as a friend or want to so we we ignore those gut feelings but really those gut feelings are really we really need to pay attention to them so mm. personally i would say that if i were you and because of this this abuse was coming i probably think twice about a relationship mm. too well, um, she already said that she, she doesn't have feelings for him anymore. So I think that's where so it's I, a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Just move on. Yeah. yeah. You know, for, for a lot of people, like this whole, say you are with a partner who slaps you. Mm. It leaves a mark on your face. After a couple of days, weeks, maybe the mark will fade, right? Mm. When they insult you, it's in your mind. Yeah. It's hard to erase you it's know? always there. It's always there. You're always thinking, he, he called me an idiot. He called me a worthless woman, really. I feel like, like, <laughs> insults carry a lot of weight, at least for me. Mm. You know? Oh, yeah, I, they do. <sighs> Dude, if you insult me, that's like a whole different ball game yeah. for me. Um, because it has a way of working on one's psyche. It can f make you feel all sorts of things. It can demotivate you completely. Mm. And that's dangerous. Mm. You understand? So... I don't know what kind of premium you, uh, dear texter or messenger, um, place on insults. But, um, yeah, like my sisters are saying, go with your gut feeling. Usually it starts like that. Mm -hmm. Insults, and then it gravitates or graduates to other things. So take a decision and, and, and just stick to it. We'll do this message here. It says, uh, I have a problem. I need you to help me out. I'm about to enter another relationship where the guy is not financially stable. He lost all his investments in men's gold and GCCH. Okay. He took loans to invest. He's being deducted from the source and the money left in his account is small to cater for me and to ask my hand in marriage. Should I go ahead? <laughs> and be in a relationship him. or to marry yeah. him she says i'm about to enter another relationship where the guy is not financially stable so should she go ahead and she date this guy for, yes so date the guy yeah but she left a relationship because the guy was not financially stable we don't know why she left her first one she says she's I'm about, about to, to enter another relationship yes. where the guy Okay, it doesn't mean it that doesn't the first mean, yes. one. Okay, so for me, um, her, her closing statement um, worries me a bit, mm. where she says that her, his balance mm. is not able to cater for, for her, her and, and to ask her uh, hand in marriage. Yeah. Um, so what she's looking for is the man to come and take care of her and, and also to marry. Um, now... It puts it puts it puts the whole thing into another line altogether. So the woman, what we were saying earlier, you don't need to look for a, a, a man to take care of you. You need to hold your own. That's the first thing. But then, a man's pride is also the fact that he can take care of his woman and his family. So if you think that that is a deal breaker for you where the the woman the, the man doesn't have enough to take care of you even if you have your own then um, don't proceed because it will it will be something that will come back to bite you because you know his circumstances he hasn't hidden it from you he's paying from source and this men's goal thing has affected a lot of people so if right from the start you know the circumstances and then you're looking forward to a marriage that you know that the money won't be enough then 
Okay. Don't. All right, ladies, you have two minutes each. Let's oh. hear you. Okay, so, yeah, cut a, cut a long story short. <laughs> you're going in because um, you're looking for a man who can take care of you. Clearly, he's, he's not like in that T position. says, he's not in that position. So, two things. It's either you go into the relationship wanting to help him bring himself up, wanting to help him build himself in, into that position whereby he's financially sound, or um, you also start um, taking care of yourself as in you also find something to do that's also going to help you and help him as well and stay in the relationship. Second thing, I've said like three things at the same time. Secondly, if that's not your cup of tea, by all means, please go. Because the last thing a man wants is a nagging girlfriend or a nagging wife bothering him. Because trust me, psychologically, he has to deal with a lot because he's it's lost. Ego. Can you imagine having cars, having a lot of things and being stable and all of a sudden you have nothing. It, yeah. You have to start from ground zero. It's either you're going to be there and be supportive of him, work on the side and help him to be a better man or you go. Either make that decision because if you're not ready for hard work, by all means, go. Leave him to be and to be able to pick up the pieces in one sane mind because it's hard enough on him already. So make that decision. If you are looking for being that guy and a man who has it all, then I beg, leave this guy alone. Rosie. Yeah, the guy has um, is going through a lot of psychological issues now. All the men's go there, so lost money. They're not mm -hmm. having it easy. So he's not even <laughs> a complete man as you see it. He's struggling to understand what went wrong, why, she, why didn't he get out at a particular point in time, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. So if you really want to be in that relationship, be ready to work on his psyche. And the good thing is that if he was able to save enough money to go and invest before or was able to use his balance, like his, his, his um, balance sheet to go and borrow money to a certain tune to invest in men's gold, it means that the potential there is there. Mm. But the thing is that you probably need to work with him for him to get back to where he used to be before he lost the money. If you know you can't do it, you can't be the supportive person, then, let, then don't, don't do it. And this was an eye-opener for you, for you to know that, look, in marriage, eh, this could have happened maybe mm -hmm. after you had gotten married. Yeah. Then what do you then do? Would you have done, yeah. And that's why it's also very important that you hold your own. Mm -hmm. So this statement about, oh, he can't take care of me, can't da 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 It's good to have a man who compliments you. Don't, have, don't, don't look for a man to take complete control of everything that you are mm -hmm. or what you want to be. So it's good for you to also hold your own small. Because in case you were married, and this is the time that your own small one that you are mm -hmm. holding is up what now is, going to is now what's going to mm -hmm. hold the family together.